feeling when you're scared? Chest tighten, stomach flip, and you feel the heat crawling up your neck? No. I don't feel any of that. I just move. Like my body skips the feeling part. Hey, how can we both be scared if we feel it so different? Perfect question. And you're both right. Meet the insula, your body's translator. Its job is to take all your body data and translate it into feelings. The thalamus sends raw sensory info, amygdala adds danger, and the HPA axis that you met in the last episode floods you with adrenaline and cortisol. And the insula reads it all and turns it into a felt experience. Racing heart, tight chest, butterflies, chills. Okay, so when I panic for no reason, that's just my insula yelling, storm incoming. Exactly. In a hyperactive insula, the body's group chat lights up. Every muscle, heartbeat, and breath screaming, urgent. And when I don't feel anything, mine's in low power mode. In a hypoactive insula, the group chat still sends to the insula. The insula just forwards it up the chain faster than it can label it. So the logical circuitry becomes the translator instead. That's why in a hypoactive insula, you get lightning fast action commands like get out the way of a moving train without feeling panic first. It's running the alert through logic instead of sensations. Different route, same alarm. Whether your body screams or goes silent, your insula is still doing its job. The difference is in how loud the translator is playing the signal. Neither is wrong. Both are signs of a system that learn from survival. Tomorrow, we'll meet the PAG, the reflex commander that decides what we do with the fear signal. Freeze, run, or fight.